Dear students, once again welcome back to another video session. In this video, we are discussing a problem based speed. Dear students, once again we request you to share our videos to your friends and support us through like and comment our videos. The question is, a boat goes 30 km upstream and 44 km downstream in 10 hours. In 13 hours, it can go 40 km upstream and 15 kilo, 55 km downstream. Determine the speed of the stream and that of the boat in still water. This question appeared in the 2018 March board examination. Dear students, in this type of questions, we must go through some steps in your mind. First is define the variables and next step is to formulate the equation and the third step is to solve the equations and find the values of x and y. So here let x be the speed of the boat in still water that is in kilometer per hour and let y be the speed of the stream that is in kilometer per hour. Now the speed of boat upstream is x minus y kilometer per hour and the speed of the boat downstream is x plus y kilometer per hour. If the boat is in upstream that means the stream is opposite to the boat and if it is in downstream both the streams both the stream and the boat are in the same direction. So that shows in the figure itself. From the first condition, the distance upstream is 30 km and the distance downstream is equal to 44 km and the total time is 10 hours. So the time taken to go upstream is equal to 30 divided by x minus y and the time taken to go downstream is equal to 44 divided by x plus y. Therefore, we can formulate the equation as 30 divided by x minus y plus 44 divided by x plus y is equal to 10. So, from the second condition, the distance upstream is equal to 40 kilometer and the distance downstream is equal to 55 km and the total time given is 30, 13 hours. So time taken to go upstream is equal to 40 divided by x minus y and the time taken to go downstream is equal to 55 divided by x plus y. Therefore we formulate the equation as 40 divided by x minus y plus 55 divided by x plus y is equal to 13. So for our convenience, we take a is equal to 1 by x minus y and b is equal to 1 by x plus y. Hence we can rewrite the equation as 30a plus 44b is equal to 10 that is marked as equation 1 and 40a plus 55b is equal to 13 that is marked as equation 2. Now simplify these equations for that multiply equation 1 by 4 that is 120a is equal to 176b that is equal to 40 that is marked as equation 3. Now multiply equation 2 by 3 that is 120a plus 165b is equal to 39 that is marked as equation 4. So now subtract equation 4 from equation 3 that is 176b minus 165b is equal to 40 minus 36 that is 11b is equal to 1 that is b is equal to 1 by 11. Now substitute the values of b into equation 1. So 30a is equal plus 
44 into 1 by 11 is equal to 10. That is 30A plus 4 is equal to 10. That is 30A is equal to 6. So, A is equal to 1 by 5. So, we get the values of A and B. Now, relate A and B back to X and Y. A is equal to 1 by X minus Y. That is 1 by 5 is equal to X minus Y. That is X minus Y is equal to 5. This is marked as equation 5. So, B is equal to X plus Y. That is 1 by 11 is equal to X plus Y. That is X plus Y is equal to 11. That is marked as equation 6. So, solving this system of equations, we get the values of X and Y. Add equation 5 and 6 we get. 2x is equal to 11 plus 5, that is 16. That implies x is equal to 8. Substitute the value of x is equal to 8 back into equation 5. We get 8 minus y is equal to 5, that is y is equal to 8 minus 5, that is equal to 3. Hence, the speed of the boat in still water is 8 km per hour and the speed of the stream y is equal to 3 km per hour. That's all students for this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.